Hey guys, just doing a video from the car today. Um, I wanted to do one at home, but my wife was doing one for her channel. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would do something different. So I don't know, maybe this will become more of a, a regular thing. I don't have to set up the tripod or anything like that. That was a horrible flick there. Um, but yeah, I'm just out. Uh, sometimes I have trouble with this one because it's so short. I'm just out doing a little door dashing. Um, kind of cloudy here in Ohio, open a cold day, but really good day. Went to church this morning. Um, I hope all you guys are doing well. So my carry the past few days has been the Spider Coast stove pipe. Um, I really wish they had named this knife something else. Uh, stove pipe is fine, but it's just, I don't know. It's just a strange name. This is actually, gosh, I'm not good at that. There we go. Um, this is actually based off a design by Bill, is it Bill Ridbaum, Ridebaum, or maybe it's Dave, I can't remember. You can see his, his mark there. Um, might be Dave, I'm blanking, but you can find him on Instagram. But this was, I think he called it the Butcher, which I think is a better name. I mean, you can see the blade, it looks like a cleaver, so it makes sense. Again, Stovepipe, just kind of a strange name, I don't think it really fits this, but this has been my carry the past few days. And I picked this because I don't really carry it that much. I've had it for a little less than two years. This was actually the first knife um, my wife and I purchased through Spider Co. with her op focus discount. So it's pretty cool. But it's really a cool knife. I don't think it gets a lot of attention in the community. Um, you know, it's a little bit on the higher end when it comes to prices. These run. I think they're 400 and uh, I don't know something they were 400 even but spider goes up their prices a couple of times the past you know couple of years so it's a cool knife though I mean I'd say it's about the size of the techno maybe a little bit bigger I think the handle's a little bit bigger but as you've seen I have trouble spidey flicking it and some of that's because it's so short um, but you definitely can, but yeah, it's definitely, it, it kind of falls into the category of stout, um, stubby knives. I mean, it's, again, it's not, not that big. I think the blades may be two and a half, 2.75 inches, somewhere in there. Pretty thick blade stock. It's, it's a fairly polarizing design, in my opinion. It's, you definitely know what it is. And I, I like that Spyderco took this custom from this maker and really put a lot of effort into it. I mean, you can see the blade grind is is really nice. They added this little detail at the front. It kind of looks like a rhino horn. They added a little more machining detail here at the back. It sort of serves as a little bit of chimping. They did a special pivot for this model, so that's pretty cool. And then probably the biggest thing that I think is is pretty awesome is the clip here so you can see they actually made a special clip just for this knife this doesn't appear on any other spider co at least to my knowledge so they added these little details here by the screws so just a cool you know it's just really neat looking at all the effort they put into this thing because sometimes when they take customs and adapt them into production models I don't know. I don't think they skimp out on, on some of the details. I'm still trying to get the spiky flick. There it goes. But I think they spider co eyes it a little too much. Like the the Bowie, the swish leash Bowie. They just use their wire clip, which is a great clip. Don't get me wrong. But on a knife that costs that much money, you know, I, I think they should do something a little bit better. Same with the Python. It's like a $650 knife and they use their normal spoon clip. And it's like, you know, I understand it's a, it's a really good clip, it's very functional, but when you're buying something that expensive, you want a little bit more, and I think that's that's a big highlight of this. I also like the pivot. It's really cool that they did this special pivot for this model. The blade steals CPM 20 CV, so that's, that's nice, extremely sharp. This is one of their Taichung produced models, so it's really, really well made. I, I'm still failing at that, I'm gonna keep trying. I've had this disassembled once or twice and it went back together pretty much perfectly. It was very, very easy, very straightforward. It just has the pivot screw there, has this one at the back. Um, and I 
think that's it. I think it just has those two screws. You can see it's pretty much perfectly centered. I fidgeted with it some, as you see in the video, and you know, outside of this, I kind of play with it just to try to get it smoother. It's pretty smooth, not too bad. Um, it does run on washers, so that's pretty nice if you're worried about getting gunk in the pivot or whatever. And you know, carry profile, it's pretty nice. I mean, it has this big hump here that sticks up, but I haven't really noticed it in my pocket too much because when you carry it, it'll stick up towards the back of your pocket. So when you're reaching in to get whatever, you're reaching on this side of the knife. It doesn't really impede with your with your hand too much, so that's nice. Sorry about the phone there. <laughs> I was doing a motion with my hand and forgot that I was holding my phone. Um, you have about this much of the knife sticking above your pocket, so not too bad. Clip has good retention, easy to get in and out of the pocket. And they did this nice backspacer here, so it covers up, you know, about half of the blade. But, yeah, and the handles are titanium. But, I don't know, the stove pipe, it's a, it's a good model. I don't think it gets enough love in the community. I can very easily see this as being, you know, kind of having the same conclusion that the Bowie and what are some other ones? Um, I guess that one probably sticks out on my mind the most. Oh, the Nirvana. Just some of the, the titanium frame locks out of Tai Chung that they produced that are based on custom designs that weren't that popular when they were being made but then really spiked in value after they were retired. I mean, the Bowies, you look at them on eBay, they're like a they're like thousand bucks. The Nirvanas are about the same. So I wonder if this is going to do the same. I talked about this in a video a couple of years ago now, year and a half ago now. And um, yeah, I wonder if this is going to be the same. So anyway, Spider Coast Stove Pipe, really cool little knife. If you can find one, you know, even at 300 bucks i think it's a fairly good deal i wouldn't pay full retail for it but yeah uh, check it out if you have a chance i uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend and um yeah i don't know maybe we'll make this more of a, a thing i've kind of liked doing this video in the car so have a great day guys we'll talk to you later